A movie like this you wouldn't expect to call a special effects movie, but quite frankly, we had over 350 visual effects in The Longest Yard. One of the most difficult aspects was something that I call an invisible effect, something that isn't a big explosion or a dinosaur walking across the screen, but something as simple as making a stadium crowd look like they were actually there when they weren't. Filling in the stadium became one of our more difficult problems since we were only budgeted for about 125 extras per day. Here's an example of how we did it. Rhythm and Hughes, the company which did all of our effects in the stadium, would start off by doing what's called a tiling shot, where they would take elements of the crowd, small groups of people, and position them in the stands, as you see here, in perspective around the stadium like pieces of a puzzle. They'd have to painstakingly do this while the cameras were in positions shooting each play. They'd literally mark down where the cameras were covering the action and then go back after we finished the play, put the cameras there again, and put sections of crowd in the stands. Then they'd rotoscope around the people in the foreground, as you see here, so that arms and heads wouldn't be chopped off, and they'd have to go and paint the field back in around them. As you see here, not only were they adding crowd into the bleacher sections, but in a second you'll see how they had to erase our crew and our equipment, which was left on the field, add in players that were coming out of the tunnel, and then paint back in the lines on the field, and then in the end you'd finally get a completed shot like this, which just looks like the start of any game.